What is up, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about this upcoming DraftKings slate for February 17th. So, I'm finally back. I've been at the Motel 6, basically just hanging out in there since the power and the hot water being out at my house. It was unbearable. We had to get out. So, I took the dogs, took the girlfriend, went to the Motel 6, hung out there for a the couple days, and now we are back and live back at my house. I'm pretty excited to be back. I'm ready basically to hang out with y'all, chat with y'all, be back in the discords. Basically just, like I said, hang out, talk about the slate, talk about NBA, talk about UFC coming up pretty soon. I may not be able to do a golf video because I haven't really dug into that since I've been at the hotel. The, the Wi-Fi there was just not half the time working. Y'all y'all know how it was. So, but like I said, we're back. We're ready to go. Before we begin though, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's me in a ton. As y'all know, let's dig into the slate. New York and Orlando. So we already have Aaron Gordon rolled out. We still have Cole Anthony rolled out. James Ennis is questionable. The same old same with the Magic. Vucevic at 10-1 is a little high in my opinion. I don't really like that price point. In this matchup, the de the defense of the Knicks is actually pretty tough compared to what normal people think. So I'm pretty much not high on Vucevic at 10-1. That's just really not much for me. Terrence Ross, a little high priced if the shot's not falling. I don't really want a piece of that. The pieces I do want, though, is MCW. I love me some MCW. He had a bad shooting day, and he still got you over 20 points that game. Fantasy points. I love him at 4-9. Give me some MCW. I don't mind getting some Kim Birch if you really need to get dig deep for value. On the next side of the ball, give me Julius Randle at 9-5. The price point, I know, is a little high, but I love this matchup for him. He should be able to smash and go. The guards, I'm not really on the guards like Elf Payton, Quigley, Derrick Rose. They're all splitting the minutes. I'm not really on them. And Noel is a little high priced at 4 7, in my opinion. Atlanta and Boston. This is the game I want a piece of. I love this game. I love it. I love it. Trey Young, 9 6. Give me him all day long at 9 6. I definitely like that price point. Jason Tatum, 8 7. I love the price point under 9K. He had a bad shooting day last game, but I definitely will see him in a bounce back game. Jalen Brown at 7 9 or 8K. Yes, please. Give me him. Kimba Walker is sitting out, so that will boost up Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. That will give me some Pritchard. At 4-2, I love Pritchard. Daniel Tice has been ruled out. Give me Tristan Thompson and Robert Williams. Both of those guys are going to see great minutes, and I love both their prices. I love this game overall. This is the mini game I would love to stack. Houston at Philly. Joel Embiid in the smash spot. I love him in this spot. He should be able to do his thing. The rest of the team is just all secondary plays with Joel Embiid in play. Houston side of the ball, John Walsh, I still love him with Christian Wood out and Oladipo questionable. If Oladipo is officially out and so is Gordon, that will boost up Tate, House, Sterling Brown, Nawaba. This is the value team that you want is this Houston team. I know the matchup isn't great, which that's going to push people off of them. I'm all in on them. I love this matchup for for this, for this uh, Houston team. Give me some of Houston easily all day long. Indy and Minnesota, this matchup is just man, in my opinion. There's not a lot I want in this game other than Sabonis and Brogdon. I definitely do like their prices. Uh, Miles Turner at 6-3. The price did go up. I don't like that price point. I'm not really on him as much. Anthony Edwards had a great shooting day. I know he looked good getting you over 50 points. Do you think he can do that again? I'm not really technically sure. I don't think he does, though. I don't think he goes for 50. I think he was just having a good shooting day and just shot the ball a ton. TJ McConnell with Doug, with Dougie, I'm probably out. He is questionable. He more likely will be out, though. Give me some TJ McConnell at 5 6. Denver and Washington, this matchup is great for the Denver team. MPJ had just had a bad day last, <laughs> last game. Uh, it was just not good for him. But Nikolai Jokic, 11,000. I don't mind paying that at all. I know the price is a little bit high, but you can certainly get to him. Westbrook and Beal, I'd rather get to Westbrook when Beal is healthy because Westbrook gets you more peripherals as. Brad Beal doesn't. So I do want me some Russell Westbrook. Jamal Murray, MPJ. I, I like Jamal Murray's price point. I definitely do like it. You can certainly get some Jamal, Jamal Murray, but I'm not getting to any MPJ. And Wagner, if he does start again, I definitely do like him. His price point, he's a value. Detroit and Chicago, Zach Levine at 9-4. He's the focal point of this offense. I definitely do like him. I do like me some Kobe White, 6-3. I certainly wouldn't mind getting to him. The rest of the team is all not really in play. On the Pistons side of the ball, I do like me some Jeremiah Grant at 7-6. I do like Plumlee at 7-2. Both of those guys are in smash spots in a good matchup. I definitely like that. DeLon Wright's is way too underpriced. I love me some DeLon Wright. At that price point, you can certainly get to him. The rest of the team, just not really for me. Portland and New Orleans. 
There's not a ton I like in this game. Maybe some Dame Lillard at 10-3. I definitely wouldn't mind getting to him. You can look at him easily. Brandon Ingram and Zion, I rather get the Zion, A2. In this canter, not really for me. There's not much I want on this team, personally. There's just It's just a cross-off game. OKC in Memphis, if SGA is in, he's basically the only guy I want to get to. There's nothing else I really want to get to on this Thunder team other than SGA. If S SGA is out, and then it's just the usual. But there's the, the team is a little bit overpriced, in my opinion, based on their worth. So there's not a lot I want in this game either. These late-night hammer games are not really ones I'd like too much else or the other than the last one. On the Memphis side of the ball, though, Jay Moran, you can certainly get to him at 7-4. He had a big game last game. I wouldn't mind going right back to him. But you know ownership will be there. So be careful with that. Joe Val, though, at 7-3. The matchup is not really for me. I'm not really liking that. Like I said, there's just not a lot I want on this team. Miami and Golden State, I do like me some Jimmy Buckets. He's playing aggressive. He's playing like he's in the playoffs, like I said before. I definitely like that price point. Bam Adebayo on a great matchup. You can certainly get to him. Steph Curry at 10-6. That's kind of tough to get to when he's that price. Um, there's not. I don't really want to get to him. Jermon Green at 6-8. I definitely wouldn't mind that with his triple-double upside. Like I said, there's not a lot in this game I want. Utah and the Clippers, though, this is the game I did want, did want to talk about. I definitely do like this game, though. Kawhi Leonard, possibly out. Paul George already out. Look to Lou Will at 6'9". I definitely like that price point. Marcus Morris, you can certainly get to him, even though he just didn't shoot the ball very well. A ball got 5'2". I wouldn't mind getting to. There's a, lot of, there's a lot on this team. I definitely want to see what the starting lineup is if Kawhi is out. On the other side of the ball, if Conley is out, I do like me some Mitchell. I do like me some Gobert. And I wouldn't mind paying enough for Ingles and Jordan Clarkson. If Conley is in, there's not much I want on this team at all. So that pretty much wraps up the slate for us, guys. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's me a ton, as you all know. And have a great and safe rest of your day.